here for another scrumptious episode of Jer Recipes. Introducing New York State's former Department of Corrections in May, and might I add, a five-time Arrows Con Condulais champ. Everyone, Chef Survivor Kit. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to Jail Recipes. I'm your host, Thurston Howell III. But in the kitchen, I'm known as Chef Survival Kit. Because around me, you can never say there's nothing to eat. This show will teach you how to utilize anything you have to make a complete delicious meal out of whatever. Jail recipe's so good. You gotta try them at all. Yes, you do. You gotta try them. Today, I'm gonna introduce to you one of the all-time classic jail recipes. The pulpo with calamares in rice. I think I might throw some corn in there, too. Or maybe some gandules, but I'm gonna hold back on the gandules and save that for another episode. Right now, let me introduce you to the ingredients. You know, you start with the pulpo, you know. Football is like, I eat this raw if I have to. You know about the calamari? But this is an ink, like it got its own ink. You know, this is squid or whatever, but this adds the flavor and it helps make the rice black. Then you throw the corn in there, onions. You know, I like onions even in my cereal. The sofrito. There's nothing real without the sofrito, but this is the jail recipe brand as well. So, so you add some recaito, throw some adobo in there, the jail recipe. Adobo. Of course, you gotta have the rice. You need some oil so the rice won't stick together. And you top it off with the pique at the end of everything. This is like putting the frosting on a cake. The pique adds that extra spice and all that to make it real, real delicious. So now that you've seen all the ingredients, it's time to pull out the pot. Yeah, pull out the pot. Roll something, man. I gotta get my appetite right. I got you, I got you. I see a lot of people get all fancy with their cooking utensils on their shows and all that. Name brand Tupperware, corny wear, and this and that. You know what? All that ain't even necessary. This is how Chef Survival Kit gets down. These are grandma's original cooking utensils straight from her kitchen. Some of these pots are older than me. So there's a lot of years of flavor left behind in them. Maybe that's cheating, but y'all want to eat, right? Let's eat. We about to turn it up right here. All right, the calamares and rice is boiling. Trying to let it boil up. You gotta let it boil up, you know, to where all the water evaporates. Then you cover it and all that. So while that's boiling, I'm gonna make a side dish of some platanos. You know about the platanos. But remember, you know, this is jail recipes, but we're not in jail. So you don't have to be limited to the jail resources. You know, I'm not in jail, I'm a free man. I'm gonna cut me up a platano, I'm gonna throw it in the pot, and we are gonna chef it up. Chef survival kit style. And you don't gotta be Dominican to eat platanos either. You know, there ain't no real secret to um, the way you're supposed to slice a platano and all that, but um, all you gotta do is cut it up. Let it sit in some water for a minute and all that. You know, first you put the platanos in. You let these cook halfway, you don't cook them all the way. You know, you gotta smash them and all that. All right, now you see the water is evaporating out of the rice, you know? It's almost all gone down there, so you gotta lower the flame. You know, that's the secret to making the rice, is let it cook slowly. Don't stir it, don't do none of that. So I'm gonna lower the flame over here. So while that's cooking, I'm gonna smash up some of these platanos. You gonna smash it, you know, this is a new style. This is cups and all that. Shit, hot. 
all right? All that smashed up. Let me show you how we flavor it right now, all right? Check this out. You know, you flavor the vinegar up here with some garlic powder. You can use fresh garlic, too, if you want. You know, it's just your choice. You know, we not in jail, so the jail recipe doesn't have to be limited. You know, you flavor it like that. Then you throw it back in the oil. Watch out, they don't pop you in your head when that oil start popping off. I wish my grandmother could see me now that I'm cheating on the show with her pots, you know? The flavor's left behind in them pots, so I'm trying to get some of it. You can make as many platanos as you want, depending on how many people you're going to feed. You know what I mean? If you got nine kids, like my brother, then you're going to need a whole platano tree so we can get it popping. All right, you know, these platanos look like they done. They getting nice and brownish, you know? Some people like them burnt, you know? I like them like this, so I'm going to start taking them out. You can get hooked on these right here. I even like these for breakfast with some fried eggs. You know, you dip it in the yolk. There's a thousand ways to lace the platanos, too. But now that they out, I'm gonna add some more garlic powder on top of them. We're still waiting for the, for the calamares and pulpo and rice to get done. So once all that's done, we're gonna bust this down together and show you what to do. And now to read a letter from one of our viewers who watches the show in Elmira Correctional Facility in New York. Larry Robinson writes, What's up, Chef Survival Kit? Your show is off the hook, kid. Madheads here remember you from your Rikers Island bids in the Six Building. Yeah, Duke, I even read your book. Your recipe for Walkman tape deck into tattoo machine is genius. I made one, and the CO found it on a search down after somebody snitched. I'm in the box right now, and I'll be here for a while, so I won't be able to watch the show. One love, Larry Robinson from Flatbush. P.S. Why you never have no bitches on your show? Well, I'm gonna work on that for you, Larry Robinson, but right now, pimping ain't paying, and it ain't in the budget. So, hold your head, Larry Robinson, and come home soon. I'm gonna keep this letter on ice for a while. Now, we're gonna check on the rice. You know, it's been marinating over here for a minute. This rice looks real proper right now. Remember to let all the water evaporate out of the rice and make sure it cooked at a real low flame, you know, to get that good flavor. But don't stir the rice until you know it's thoroughly cooked. A lot of people make that mistake. They think rice, you're supposed to stir it every five minutes and all that, but you don't do that. You just let it sit and simmer and stir it only when it's done. Most of the time, you only gotta stir it once. We're gonna check this out right here. Yeah, this is serious. You see the pulpo, you see the corn in there. You see the, the, the extra color that the calamari added into that, right? Yeah, we about to bust this down on the plate. I'm about to get me a plate and serve me something real quick. Why don't you serve me something, man? Man, you got some money? Look at that pulpo, look how rich and flavorful all of that looks. I ain't gonna OD, I'ma just eat a little bit right now, you know, satisfy my, my taste buds, but let that cook a little while longer. And I'ma add some tortones with some avocado to this dish and show you how delicious. You know, it's gonna make it complete. I like the big chunks of avocados. Lucky I ain't open the whole thing up. This looks real serious, so it's about to go down. But first, you got to add the pique. You know what the pique do, kid. Then you bless it, and you take a sample. Look at how good that looks. You know you want some. It's a jail recipe so good. You gotta try it at home. And I think you're better. I'm about to bust this plate down. That's the recipe for you. The pulpos with calamares and rice, with avocado and some plantains on the side. For more of these and other delicious jail recipes, buy my book, Chef Survival Kit's 
Jail Recipes, available at bookstores everywhere. Or you can try your corner bodega for a copy. If the bodega doesn't have it, try your local prison library for these jail recipes so good. I'm your host, Chef Survival Kit. Thank you for watching Jail Recipes. Back up off my plate before you get cut. by Festin Howe the Third and Skillionaire Enterprises, all in proper and unauthorized reproduction of this show and its contents and likes will result in severe and constant punishment. All laws ghetto applicable without limitation to taking your motherfucking life.